me are the replica skulls of Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis, an extinct cousin that was last seen 40,000 years ago. Modern humans share 99.7% of their DNA with Homo neanderthalensis. Experts estimate that the split between Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis occurred between 500,000 and 765,000 years ago. However, the actual relationship between these two is quite complicated and some believe that it could have occurred as recently as 400,000 years ago. Fossils of the ancestral species Homo erectus have been dated to 1.9 million years ago, and some studies suggest that they did not go fully extinct until 140,000 years ago. It is believed that Homo erectus had left Africa 1.8 million years ago. Having spread throughout Eurasia, Homo erectus in Africa gradually died off and was replaced by a species Homo heidelbergensis. Homo heidelbergensis first evolved 700,000 years ago in Africa with fossilized remains found in Ethiopia and South Africa suggesting that they were quite widespread. It is from this species that modern humans and Neanderthals evolved. Neanderthals are thought to have evolved from a group of Homo heidelbergensis that migrated into Europe sometime between four and 300,000 years ago. Possible routes that could have been taken include crossing the Mediterranean toward Italy or by crossing the Straits of Gibraltar by foot due to lower sea levels. The Homo heidelbergensis that remained in Africa evolved into Homo sapiens sometime between 300 to 200,000 years ago. The Art of Africa theory states that all Homo sapiens alive today can be traced back to a single ancestor that first evolved in Africa, and that this ancestor eventually migrated out of Africa, spread into Europe and Asia, where other hominins were living, and displaced them. An alternative theory is the multi-regional theory. This theory suggests that an ancestral species of Homo sapiens left Africa and evolved into anatomically modern humans as they dispersed across Europe and then the rest of the world. Up until recently, it was thought that all modern Europeans had come from these migrants. New fossil evidence suggests that at least some of our ancestors came from Asia. Neanderthals were shorter than anatomically modern humans, with males reaching an average of 5'5 and females reaching an average of 5 foot, compared to 5'7 and 5'3 respectively in modern humans. Neanderthals had shorter legs and bigger bodies, and they had more pronounced brow ridge. Although both Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis had brains that were on average between 1200 and 1400 centimeters cubed in size, their brains had different shapes. This likely resulted in different mental capabilities between the two, as well as different behaviors. The differing brain shapes with certain larger areas in anatomically modern humans likely led to the development of a more complex speech and language pattern in humans compared to Neanderthals. It is quite possible that Neanderthals were hairier than humans as they had evolved in a colder climate and their short and stocky build was an adaptation for conserving heat. However, Neanderthals are also known to have thrived in warmer conditions between glaciations in Europe. There are two types of DNA in each cell of the body, mitochondrial DNA and nuclear DNA. Mitochondrial DNA is a small strand of genetic material found within the mitochondria of the cells. Nuclear DNA is found in the nucleus of the cell. Mitochondrial DNA is passed down from mother to child and can be used to trace maternal lineages and population split times. Mitochondrial DNA is also a useful tool for estimating the length of time that has passed since two organisms shared a common ancestor, as mutations within the mitochondrial DNA occur at predictable rates. When Svante Pavo sequenced the entire genome of a Neanderthal in 2010, it became possible to compare the DNA of anatomically modern humans and Neanderthals. Amazingly, this study showed that between 1 and 4% of the DNA of non-Africans had originated from the Neanderthal genome compared to no Neanderthal DNA in those of African descent, and this was taken as evidence of interbreeding between human and Neanderthal populations. The genes carried today, attributed to Neanderthals, are a derived characteristic trait, but the story doesn't end there. Following the discovery of a small finger bone and some teeth in a cave in the Altai Mountains in southern Russia, by Michael Schumkall in 2008, and the subsequent DNA analysis conducted by Johannes Krauss and Svante Pavo in 2010. It was announced that a new Neanderthal-like sister group of hominins had been discovered and these were dubbed the Denisovans or Denisova hominins. The finger bone had belonged to a young woman, dubbed X woman, who had lived 41,000 years ago. Due to the excellent preservation of the DNA in the bone fragment, it was possible to sequence nearly the entire genome of X woman. By comparing this to human and Neanderthal DNA, it was determined that Neanderthals and Denisovans had shared a common ancestor 640,000 years ago, whereas humans, Neanderthals and Denisovans, had shared a common ancestor 800,000 years ago. What's even more intriguing is that, although Neanderthals and Denisovans are more closely related to each other, the analysis of mitochondrial DNA in Neanderthals appears more similar to that of modern humans than Denisovans. This strongly suggests that some interbreeding between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals must have occurred. 
It is also likely that humans and Denisovans interbred. The presence of the gene EPAS1 in the Tibetan people and no other current or ancient human population has been used to imply this. This gene, which allows Tibetans to survive in low oxygen at high altitudes with no ill effects, has been shown to only be present in Denisovans, further suggesting some genetic exchange. Additionally, there are genetic links that tie Denisovans to modern people living in Indonesia, New Guinea, and the Australian Aborigines. Studies have shown that these groups of people have about 5% of DNA within their own genome from the Denisovans. Because of this, Denisovans are now thought to have been more widespread throughout Asia than the current fossil record from the Altai Mountains suggests. These are the only fossil remains of Denisovans that have been found to date, but conceivably their story will continue to develop in future. The discovery of 28 hominin individuals at Cima de la Huesos in Spain two years ago has thrown up further questions. These remains have been dated at 430,000 years old. Analysis of the mitochondrial DNA of one of these individuals has shown that they are more closely related to Denisovans than to Neanderthals. Further analysis of the nuclear DNA of the Cima de los hominins linked them to Neanderthals, which suggests that they diverged less than 430,000 years ago. This illustrates the usefulness of DNA analysis in unraveling the development of modern humans and shows that our extinct cousins are closer than you think.